This is example number 3.1 from our textbook RAW, and we'd like to find the response of an undamped system. Given the weight and the constant of the spring, the amplitude of the force and the frequency of the force, they want us to find the extension of the spring due to the weight, the static displacement of the spring due to the amplitude of the force, and amplitude of the response due to the applied force. So we have the weight that is 50 newtons, and we have the constant of the spring, which is 4,000 newtons over meters. We have the amplitude of the force, which is 60 newtons, and we have the frequency of the force, which is 6 hertz. Let's now calculate the static deflection of the spring due to weight. So we analyze our free body diagram in equilibrium, and we have the weight, we have the spring force, and those are equal, and that will be the static displacement of the spring due to the weight. We solve for the static displacement, and it's the weight over the constant, which is 50 over 4,000, and that gives me a static displacement of 0 0.0, one to five meters. The static deflection for the spring due to the force will be similar, but now we use the force to calculate that deflection, and then we have that that's 60 divided by the constant of the spring. That gives me a static deflection due to the force equal to 0 0.015 meters. To calculate the amplitude of the response of the system, we know that the response has the form of F0 over K, which is the static deflection, times the magnification factor, times sine of the omega t minus a phase angle. We need to have the circular frequency. That means that we have to multiply the frequency by 2 pi, and that gives me a value of 37.699 radians over second. The magnification factor when we have an undamped system is 1 over 1 minus r squared. Remember that r is the frequency over the uh, natural frequency of the system, and the natural frequency is the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass. The mass is the weight over the gravity, and then we can place that into our equation right here to calculate my natural frequency, and that will be 4,000 over 50 over 9.81, and that gives me a natural frequency of 28.014 radians over second. Now R is equals to the frequency over the natural frequency. We have both values, and that's equals to 1.34. So it's greater than 1. That already gives us a lot of information. For example, that the phase angle is 180 degrees. So the amplitude will be equals to the static deflection times the amplification factor, and that equals to 0 0.015 that we already calculated, and the amplification factor is 1 minus 1.345 squared. I take the absolute value because I know it would be negative because you know that above r equals 1, the response is always negative and it has a phase angle greater than 90. In the case that we have no damping, we know that it's 180. 